Hi guys, this video is going to be very unique, special, and different. Please, of course, leave me your comments below and tell me if you like this. What we're basically going to talk about in today's video is about all these planets that went retrograde. I'm not going to get into the weeds of it because it can, of course, get crazy and confusing. But I did specifically want to talk about Pluto in retrograde as well as Mercury in retrograde. About five or six planets went into retrograde, and right in October, right around the 6th to the 20th, we have them all going direct. But why did I feel like this video was necessary to talk about? Because it's a reflection of a lot of us tarot readers when we do channeling readings. It helps you to understand how these planets affect you personally and also understanding your thought process, why these things are happening. Because it's not just you and your thoughts. It's also the person that you're dealing with, their thoughts. And Mercury retrograde is all about the planet of communication. But I digress. Let me go back. I'm putting on my glasses because I did take note. And um, what I'm going to do after I get done explaining these planets, I'm going to pull a few cards for each zodiac sign. Besides of me discussing what all these cards mean in your zodiac sign, to get a little bit more clarity on what, what we can highlight for you guys moving forward. Not what had happened or what's going on, but moving forward, what we can see that that's changed. Why is this necessary? Because Pluto went retrograde back in April. So back in April, if you'll remember before that, you were going on about your life. You were going on about your business. And then right around April 27th, something changed, something within you. You took a step back from a job. You took a step back from a career. You took a step back from a relationship. You took a step back from a marriage or a group of people and or a community. You just were not having it. You were saying to yourself, I'm done with this. So what you did is you started reflecting on yourself. This is why we say planets are important to us when they go retrograde. We don't feel Pluto, but why is Pluto so important? Because it's the planet of karma. Do good, you receive good. Do bad, you receive bad. Shit starts happening to you for these reasons. But just be doesn't matter whether you did good or bad, you're gonna be forced to reflect. And it was a long haul because it finally went direct October 6th. But why am I talking about this four or five days later? Because Pluto finally had a cup of coffee and woke too. And now when you have Mercury going direct on the 17th, all this forward motion, along with we have Saturn also going direct on the 10th and Jupiter on the 17th, the planet of luck. All these things that we've worked on, our shadow side, the, the dark night of the moon that we say, that walk that we say, the walk of the dark night of the moon. We really forced ourselves to say to ourselves, well, why didn't this work? Or why didn't that work? What's no longer serving me? All these things were happening to you. So if you've been following me on my YouTube channel, you'll see for some zodiac signs I've been saying, oh, you're transitioning, you're transforming, you're changing, you're this, that. Yeah, this is the other end of that. This is the, the conversation we're having, what's happening after all those lessons that you've learned. So in about a week, this is what we're doing. And who did it affect the most? It affected Aries, Gemini, Virgo, and Libra. Aries for you was about people, what you would and would not tolerate. For Gemini, it, it was about love for you guys, how, how you transmute love or how you have fun. And for you, it's been very emotional. Virgo, it's been about your finances. It's been a roller coaster for you. You've been in your head about your finances, your future, your career. Libra, for you guys, it's unresolved issues. You've had the past come back and bite you on the ass. So again, it's the law of karma. It's growing pains, guys. It was necessary, but it forces us. And not just those signs. This is everybody now. It forces us to think about ourselves professionally or personally, our, our legacy. Everyone here is thinking about their legacy, what they're going to leave behind, how they're going to be remembered, how they're perceived in public. It was a big thing. It's how we orient ourselves, our structures, our beliefs, the way we see things, the way we perceive things. And when we go out there, it's who we are, how we stand up for ourselves. So when you go out there and you say to yourself, Sally is known as an activist. She believes in these rights. 
you're, you've been reflecting on that and you're saying, okay, how can I apply that? Come October 20th, the full moon in Aries, you will be applying that. So let's go down here and let's talk about each zodiac sign. Feel free to skip ahead to your own zodiac sign, but if you're dealing with said person or if this is in your natal chart, take a listen. Okay, let's begin with Aries. So I'm just going to pull the camera down. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull one card, a tarot, and some uh, oracle cards for you guys to see how this is going to help you mitigate problems or what to look forward to. Aries, this has been in your house. The Mercury retrograde has been in your house of relationships. And during the Pluto retrograde, and now that it's gone direct, you've learned a shitload of lessons. You've said to yourself, something happened to you back in April. You might have left something behind, and it hurt you. It hurt a lot to leave this person. You wanted to be with them. But you knew deep inside when Pluto went retrograde what you can and cannot accept. So maybe you felt, you know, I got to take a step back from me because this person isn't showing me. This job isn't showing me the love I deserve. And you've been reflecting on that all this time. So let's go ahead and see this. And apply that to relationships. What are relationships? Our workship, our friendship, our kidship, our parentship, and our love ship. Whatever ship it was for you, those are the relationships. And for you guys, it, it, it's been a doozy. Now I think you're coming out on the other end and you're saying, okay, okay, I get it. It hurt as a mother. And you're still in that pain cycle. But you're coming out of it now. All right, so let's see what's going on with you guys. Yeah, you have a fork in the road. You have to decide between two people, two careers, two jobs, two situations. And you have a passion at your beginning. You're very, very excited about something here. Yes, you have a situation here that's being revisited. A missed opportunity is revisited. There was an ending and now it's back. And you have a passion at your beginning and you have a decision to make Aries. All right, let's see. I'm going to pull a card in your romance world. Flirt. Get your flirt on. I don't care if this is the past person, a present person, or a future person. Just get your flirt on, guys. Get your flirt on. Things can change when you flirt. And you guys are naturals anyway, so what am I saying? Advice. Ha ha, your hard work is paying off new moon in Capricorn. Guess what? Pluto and retrograde started in... The, in the new moon of Capricorn. And here it is, voila, at the end. Some of you are dealing with the Capricorn, but your hard work is paying off, guys. All right, and one more card from Angels of Abundance, however you perceive abundance to be, health, wealth, family, love, you take it as it is. Organize for success. Do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply for uh, to ensure clarity of purpose. Some of you could be already doing this. You just need to coordinate. So, you know, clean your bedroom, clean your house, clean out an old closet. It's going to relieve you because as you clean out old shit, you're going to say to yourself, goodbye past. I'm throwing you the fuck out. Ciao. And you're going to feel so much better. Your energy is going to start shifting. Just like all that ref inner reflection that you did, organize. And the organize for success will help you get along. Now, if I'm talking about Taurus, Taurus. This retrograde was in your house of beauty, so you might have been feeling a little slumped, a little down and out. You guys might have recently had a rekindling with somebody, and you had done... It's not like you needed to do any work on yourselves, Taurus, because you always know your game, you know your shit, and if somebody isn't up to snuff with you, you're like, peace, goodbye. But for you guys, you, it, it, you have been trying to build your own legacy, and maybe while you've been doing this, somebody might have left you hung to dry but i digress this whole speech i gave at the beginning of this video this person was working on themselves and believe you me taurus you want a better version of that person you didn't want the shit they were giving you before so for you guys during mercury retrograde i'm combining both the planets pluto because now it's gone direct and mercury retrograde will go direct in a week <clears throat> you're going to see differences big differences in a week but for you guys, it was in your house of beauty. So it's saying you've been a little bit down and out. It's time to get up, moving, go to a park, get a manicure, get a pedicure, get a massage, take a walk through the park, anything. You know, get yourselves out of this like funk that you might have been in. So let's see what this also means for you coming forward. 
Yeah, there's um, three of pentacles fell out, which means collaborating, working with a team, working with a group, and two of swords also fell out for you guys. So somebody might, there might have been a third party situation. It doesn't have to be an affair or anything like that. It's just somebody was getting involved in your shit or your crap. And you're debating whether you should cut this person out altogether because you have the eight of cups walking away from them uh, at the bottom. And somebody's been holding on to this situation for a while. If this isn't you, it's them. So somebody here wants to collaborate with you or you want to collaborate with them and you've got to decide whether you're going to cut this person out or not, if it's worth your time. Let's see what the angels of romance have for you. Chemistry. You have chemistry with somebody here. And that's what the collaborating is. Somebody wants to collaborate with you, but you kind of have them at a pause. You're still thinking it over if you're going to accept them or not. Let's see what your um, advice is by the Monology deck. Oh, I got two. Take time to breathe out. The other shoe is not going to drop, Taurus. This person legit likes you, wants you, needs you, work or love related. What do you need to release? This could be your past feelings, thoughts, your thought process, whatever was done to you guys in the past. Gotta let it go. Angels of Abundance. Clean energy food. Yeah, because it's in your house of beauty. When you fuel your body with healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and your ability to focus. Absolutely. So, guys, this is, again, reiterating Mercury retrograde. For, you probably typically do take care of yourself, Taurus. But it's you might have like let yourself go for a hot minute there. You know, this body that we have, it's just a capsule to our soul. If you treat this like shit, you're treating your inner soul like shit. And you don't want to. You want to feed your soul. You want to feed your soul beautiful things. All right, let's move on to um, Gemini. Gemini for you. This has been about love and romance and having fun and engaging in love. And for you, it's been a little bit of an emotional haywire situation. You're just like... A little bit over the all over the place emotionally, and you don't do emotions. <laughs> so let's see what's going on. Yeah, th there's a reason that this is all happening to you guys. Okay, so you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is luck on your side. Yes, and because Jupiter will go down finally on the 17th. And you also have the Three of Cups. So this is a reconciliation, a reunion, good news. Something amazing is coming towards you guys at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is on a, based on an emotional nature, what I just got done saying. So you guys, um, there's a night coming in here that this could be an, forgive me, I'm sorry, an apology. Uh, this could be, let's, let's try this again. I love you. I care about you. Something like that. And like th this person came and professed their truth, honesty, clarity, what had happened why they bounced, why they dissed, why they left, whatever reason it was. For you, it was, uh, you couldn't be clear before. But now there's a reason that the universe is bringing this person back to you. You have a reconciliation from what I see here. Let's see. Let's see what the romance angels have for you guys. And the lucky winner is, oh my God. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I just pulled this out like that. I'm a badass reader. I know. Uh, let's see what your um, advice is. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Yeah, I think that you have been emotionally unbalanced. And so it's just saying here, uh, balance, spirituality, and practicality. Um, just can't be all logic, all analyzation, all practicality. You've got to balance your emotions inside. Maybe meditate. What is meditation? It doesn't actually mean you have to sit there and be like, um, whatever works for you. Walking, reading, um, cooking. These are all forms of meditation. Also, you can get lost in doing these things. You know, sometimes just sitting there and watching the pot stir brings clarity. Sometimes it just works. Let's see what your angels of abundance have for you. Cooperation instead of competition. What's yours is yours and no one can take it away from you. There's no need to compete. And there's an abundance for everyone here. 
You know what this means. Cooperation instead of competition. You don't always have to show off, Gemini. You're excellent the way you are. Don't let any insecurities get to you either. That's the vibe I got from this. I don't know why. You don't need to compete. You are who you are. And you don't have to be standoffish about it either. Be a little inviting. Open that heart chakra. So that's what I have for Gemini. Moving on to Cancer. Cancer, you guys, it's in your house of home this retrograde. So there's something going on in your home front where things have been just a little haywire or miscommunication in, in the home front. Um, it just feels like something went wrong in, in, in the home recently. It's the vibe I'm getting, but I feel like you're getting over that now. And it's just a bit like, there might've been some arguments, some fighting, someone leaving out of anger uh, and coming back. That's the, the vibe I got. Some let me see what fell. And they came back. Or you started something brand new with someone else. Yeah, you were recently left out in the cold. Shut the camera down. You were recently left out in the cold, and then all of a sudden, bam. Either this is a brand new person, or this is reconciliation too for you. You received an Ace of Cups, an emotional new beginning. I feel like it's new for you, though. It might have been. You, you had invested time and energy with somebody that could have been an Aries. Doesn't have to be somebody older than you. Could be a Leo also. You moved on. And then you started something with this person. But then you were sitting here reflecting on the time and energy you spent with that person. And then all of a sudden, you, you said to yourself, okay, I'm going to take a leap of faith and go this direction. They put you out in the cold. And then when that, that happened, somebody came along and gave you an emotional new beginning. I love you, Cancer. Like, this is flat out, I love you. I, I want to date you. I want to be with you. That's the vibe I got for you guys. Let's see what I have for cancer in the romance department. Engagement. This person might have left and they were living with you. They were married with you. This is a higher level of an engagement in your relationship with this person. So maybe this person dipped out on you because they had to do that shadow work. That whole conversation I was talking about Pluto, they really need to do this. Especially if you were dealing with an Aries, Gemini, Virgo, or Libra. They really were put through the ringer during this retrograde period because they really needed to see for themselves what love is, what relationships are, how they handle them, how they deal with them. Sorry, my nose gets itchy when spirit guides come down and talk to me. Especially yours right now. They offered you an emotional new beginning because they're engaging with you. They want a higher level of um, a situation with you, Cancer. Let me see what your um, advice is here. Adjustments are required. Absolutely. You're going to have to put your foot down, Cancer, and say what you will and will not tolerate. Or that this will never happen again. Or this is their last chance. You know what it is. Let's see what your angels of abundance have for you. Block out distractions. I love this. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So time for you to take charge of your schedule and working commitment by turning off distractions and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. So that could be for your work reading because we need a little of everything here. Love, work, and advice. Okay, so moving on to Leo. Leo, the, oh my God, oh my God, poor Leo. Leo, the, I, I think during the Pluto retrograde period, I think you knew what was bothering you. I think you knew, you, you were able to identify what was toxic in your life. And you were able to function and move past it and move on. And during this retrograde period, you, for you, you've been thinking about your legacy, how you are perceived professionally, how people perceive you as a, as a friend, as a father, as a husband, as a lover, all of the above. But when Mercury went retrograde, it fell in your house of communication. And Mercury's all about communication. So shit went backwards for you guys during the Mercury retrograde period. It was like you couldn't speak or the thoughts weren't coming out the way you wanted them to come out. They were just coming out ass backwards. Not your fault. 
you know, and you also were dealing with the Pluto retrograde. So for you guys, it's been all about communication, especially with a lover, a soulmate. That's at the bottom of the deck. I, I, I just noticed it. I had to look at it. But let's see what pops out for Leo. Um, yeah. I think that you're you're finally on the right track. And I think finally we're coming out of this retrograde period. Things will start to smooth out for you guys. Um, there is a seven of swords here, though, that I do not like, which is lying, cheating, stealing, ghosting. This could be you or the person you were dealing with. This could be you also having to deal with these issues um, because it's coupled with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a messenger of emotions. So I don't know if one of you or the person you're dealing with ghosted, left, was cheating on you, and then they came back and they asked you for an apology or forgiveness. Sorry, I'm plugging in the computer. And that's what's happening with you. And I believe this has got to do with a partnership or a marriage or somebody you want to marry or live with. So that's at the bottom of the deck. So... Also, this could be you thinking of a clever way to re-engage with somebody because Mercury has been retrograde for you guys. So you take this as that resonates, Leo. It's very interesting. Somebody totally had a... Um, walked out. Let's see what you got. This could be the one. Maybe you're trying to figure that out also. If the person that you're with, because this is a little bit mental in your mind trying to get clarity figure out if this is the right person for you and then you're trying to offer them something it could be vice versa you guys know this we read for energies let's see what your advice is your advice is communication is key new moon and gemini communication is definitely key new moon and gemini i think that's like in january when is that it's coming soon um Probably sooner than that. But you guys get it. It's easy. You just need to communicate. And then we have the communication planet in retrograde. You just have to tell this person how you feel, what you're thinking, why you did what you did, if you did anything at all, or what bothered you that what they did, what was missing. Your advice from your angels of abundance. Um, conscious consumer. You have the power to heal and help the world with your decisions to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. I don't feel like that's you, conscious consumer. I feel like this is more you. Organize for success. Do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simple. But I'm get, let me see what I'm getting out of this. I feel like whatever it is that you want to do, there's something you want to do work-wise and you just need to uh, organize a plan, the business plan or something like that. And it could be something to do with consumer products. It's just saying organize for success. Or you could be working for somebody that has some kind of consumer products. Very specific. Okay, let's see what's going on for Virgo. Virgo. For you guys, it's been about finances. Your world of finances, this Mercury retrograde period. But let's see what the cards have to say for you. And I know this Pluto and Mercury and all these other planets that went retrograde, it's been a little bananas for you, Virgo. I think it's mostly because of the person you've been dealing with. Because for you, it's been about work and finances. And while you were off doing your own thing, your partner went a little mental not mental but they went off on their own journey in some weird way you know try to figure out what's what for them all right so let's see what's going on with you guys you guys got the world and the eight of wands the bottom of the deck is the ten of wands and the queen of coins in reverse interesting you're very exhausted and burdened by something somebody's put a lot of pressure on you guys and it definitely could be with work um something in the recent past had ended you, you tried something new with somebody and it just ended or something transformed and it put you in this upside down position. This made this forced you to just be not selfish, but, you know, um, 
I see you like crawling into a little ball because it burdens you. It, it put a lot of pressure on you. But the two cards that fell out is you getting messages about starting something brand new, a new chapter, either with a person, a job, or a career. But because this was in retrograde with your work, this could definitely be about communication, emails coming towards you to start some kind of new cycle. You could be asked to travel for work. Uh, if this is love related, it has something to do with starting a new chapter. So it could be a new cycle or repeating a cycle with somebody. Let me see what the romance angels have to say for you. True love. Whoever you're having this new cycle with and they're communicating with you, it's true love. What you do with that true love is up to you guys. Let's see what the moon cards have for you. Oh, a win-win outcome is in the forecast, Virgo, finally. When all these planets, especially Jupiter on the 17th, the planet of luck, win-win outcome. Let's see what your angels of abundance have to say for you. Power of prayer. Some of you have been freaking out, but you know what? Give the situation to God for uplifting and um, healing. Be open to miracles. Maybe some of you aren't religious at all. You don't believe in anything, but you can believe in miracles. You're here listening to me now, right? You believe in some form of spirituality. It doesn't have to be. Point is here, it's saying the power of prayer, believe in the impossible is really what it's saying. You know, also it could be about control issues. Let go and let God. Let the universe handle this for you is what I'm vibing. All right, so let's see what is going on with Libra. Libra, it's about your identity from what I'm seeing here. Libra, you have unresolved issues with the past. The past is coming back to bite you on the ass, whatever that is. So somebody from your past is either holding you back or trying to come back and pull you back. It's, it's something to do with this. Um, let's see. Even though you've moved on, it's something you have to resolve now. Libra, please. Libra. Okay. Yeah, somebody here wants to... You had a lot of cards fall out, actually, Libra. You have the High Priestess. This is just exactly what I just got done telling you. Okay, you have the High Priestess here. Intuition. Um, and no longer crying over spilt milk. You mourned something from your past. You really did. It was painful. And you mourned it. And you're no longer talking to that person until this fucking person comes back because they never stop stalking you or you stalking them this is the stalking card and they offered you a passionate new beginning asking you for a reconciliation look at you at the, so it's this person either cheated lied ghosted they did something fucked up because before that you were both emotionally very happy they were giving you that emotional cup, but then they they bounced, they dipped out, and now they're coming back to offer you a passionate new beginning, um, and it's a situation you need to resolve, and I think it needs to be resolved because I think you're getting involved with somebody else, Libra. Angels, what you got? Past relate, past life relationship. You have known each other. That person is a karmic. They were in your life for a reason. You had to learn life lessons from them or vice versa, they from you. Typically, you both did. I think you learned them. I think the universe, I think God is saying, if you want to go without this person, that's great. You learn these life lessons, contract fulfilled. You no longer have to deal with them in your next life. Let's see what your moon cards have to say here. Believe in the impossible blue moon. Maybe some of you will repeat a cycle. Maybe you'll fix each other. Maybe you'll stay with each other. Let's see. Let's see what your angels of abundance, which I usually think of as work, but you know, yeah. One full of abundance. An increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms. Love, health, wealth, position at work, power. You guys got the luckiest uh, card of abundance. It's coming in many, many forms. That's excellent. All right, let's move on to Scorpio. Scorpio. This is, for, uh, the, it's been falling in your house of uh, unconscious and imagination. 
So maybe your uh, intuitive antennas might have been off a little or extra. It could go either way. Like they were super in tuned or just completely going haywire during the retrograde period. So let's see what's going on for you. You guys shadow work my ass. You've been working on yourselves in the 3D world quite a bit. And now you're reaping those rewards. Um, let's see what's going on for you guys. The sun and the six. I just got done saying you're reaping the rewards. What the fuck? Look at this. The six of swords moving on into the right direction. Whatever it is that you're doing, the universe is giving you thumbs up. It's the right track. And happiness. You could be dealing with a Leo here. Look at this. You made a judgment call. And before that is the, the card of success. You are either financially successful right now or in a relationship. Something ended. You were put in the cold. The universe did you a motherfucking beautiful. Real fortune. And under that is strength. You needed the strength to endure some kind of pain, some kind of shit that you were going through. And the Wheel of Fortune came along and probably gave you a tower moment and said, I'm taking this away from you because you don't need this. You don't deserve this. They put you out in the cold and a situation ended. Boom. Done. Bye. You had to make a judgment call either to fight for it, fix it, or move on. You, whatever you decided, was the successful, correct decision. You moved on. You said, see you later. And you found your happiness. Wow, that's pretty. Your your cards have been nothing but badass. Let me see what's going on in your love world. Yeah, retreat. This is what retreat looks like. Bye. I need a break. I need to figure shit out. And then that's what you did. Doesn't mean you're not going to go back or they're not going to come back. It just means you took a break and you did the right thing. Whatever that is. So let's see what your moon cards are for advising you. A win-win is in the outcome. I just felt like pulling two. It's what I was told. A win-win is in your outcome. A time to give rather than take. Okay, so you know what that means. Somebody needs your help out there, by the way. I think that's why they wanted me to pull that card. The Lord giveth, and now you shareth. So somebody needs your help. Somebody needs your, you know, your ears, they need to talk to you. And it says, go ahead and help them. Like, let's see what abundance has for you guys. Release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something. And the universe manifests as you affirm. So release that shit. Maybe someone's jealous of you. It's a possibility. It's vice versa, you know. It's something we definitely don't ever want to do because that's what we're going to get back. I just got done telling you about Pluto being the planet of karma. You get what you receive. We need to release whatever's negative. Okay, moving on to Sagittarius, which is been in your house of friendships. Uh, also, and just your relationships in general. It's about teamwork, how you reflect. Um, you're very witty, Sagittarius. Very funny, very witty. And for you guys, it's just like a... Sometimes you feel like you need to hold back. <laughs> what you did during this Pluto retrograde, you unleashed. You completely unleashed. Which has been a healthy thing for you because I think when things go direct for you guys... Um, You're, you're, you're going to cut some weeds out of your life. You're going to be like, this isn't necessary. I did the best that I could to fix certain relationships. They don't want me. Okay, it's time to go. I don't need them. This is a lot. No. Let me just do this shuffle because it's not dropping a card for me. But I feel like what they're saying to me, because I'm channeling you guys... It's a time to take for you because I feel like you've been giving, 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 and you've been reflecting during this Pluto retrograde for you guys. And you're like, you're saying to yourself, no more. I I did what I could. I tried to fix everything that that couldn't be fixed. I'm leaving it. it doesn't need to be fixed. It doesn't need to be in my life. Okay. Same thing with uh, collaboration and teamwork at work or with whomever. You're thinking a lot about that right now. 
Okay, so you have a King of Cups here. You could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but this is somebody that loves you or you love them. And that's what it feels like. It feels like you are waiting for somebody that you love or you're waiting for this person to come back to you. Of course, it can be vice versa because this is somebody that you had spent time and energy with, developing a relationship or a foundation at work with. And, you know, before that, there was some, this is definitely some kind of partnership or union. Some of you could have been dealing with an Aries too. You had an, uh, a new beginning with an Aries or somebody that was older than you, doesn't have to be like a business person. And then you felt like some kind of soulship with this person. But for whatever reason, you were having anxiety at night. I think something or someone from your past was holding you back because you keep reflecting on the past of the time and energy that you built with somebody. And maybe you let them go or they let you go and now you're waiting for them to come back because you love them. Or it's vice versa. They're waiting for you to come back because they love you. Um, let me see what's going on in your romance angels. Healing family issues. Yeah, because you, this is a period for you guys where I told you about Pluto and retrograde and Mercury and retrograde, all this inner reflection. I think some of you are thinking about all the toxic people in your life. That includes your family. It could be your mother, your father, husband, wife, doesn't matter. You know, even if it's your kids, you're trying to heal something here because there's something toxic and you're no longer tolerating it or you're trying to fix it. Maybe you feel like you're failing. I don't know. You tell me in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe, everybody, please. Don't let your past hold you back. Totally. I just got done telling you this. And starting next week when everything goes direct and Jupiter goes direct again, which is like your planet, shit's going to change. You'll be like, I got to focus. Me, me, me. My friendships, my relationships, I'm going to sediment those that I have, those that I care about. And that's it. And you're not going to let your past hold you back. At least you're not going to let it. Let's see what your angels of abundance have to say. Partnership. <laughs> Allow healthful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career. And both parties benefit as a result. You can't be super independent right now, Saggies. You need a partner. And partnering up is going to be a blessed thing. Whether that's a relationship or a partnership at work. But this is really about you collaborating with somebody. Uh, and which is what I was channeling earlier before I started the readings for you guys. All right, so let's move on to Capricorn. Capricorn, for you, it's been about... Uh, professionalism, this Mercury and retrograde, how people perceive you in public, your public image, and you needed to uh, work. And, and the, these planets that were going um, uh, reverse for you has been testing your patience because typically and normally Capricorn, you're a very patient person, very patient, and you're methodical in your approach and everything that you do. You usually plot out a future beautifully, but during this retrograde period, it had you thinking um, how you can revamp your image. Also for you guys, something happened back uh, in April that shifted things for you. Like your whole world just shifted. And from April until now, you've been reflecting on that. How you're perceived in public, your professional image, your legacy, what you're going to leave behind, who your family is. And now that you feel that you might have gotten a grip on it or you will be getting a grip on it, you feel once these planets go direct, especially starting October 20th when we have full moon in Aries, you're going to start um, applying all those things that you've been doing. I think you have been doing that. Uh, you might have been changing your images uh, on social media or what you've been uploading. Because before I was telling you guys that Pluto is all about our legacy. And because this planet is falling in your house of, you know, professionalism, you, you've probably been posting things like this, Capricorn, your career, uh, your family life, the type of person you are, what you, what your values are, what you hold dear. So you might have been doing things like that uh, via social media. And I think you're also doing this because these are the type of people you want to collaborate with Capricorn. These are the people you want to invite into your life. Even if this is romantic, aside from professional, you're just changing your world and you're shifting it. Um, and now things are, 
the application process is about to begin. I think you're about to step out into the world and you're going to start putting those things, um, those thoughts, those, those things that you've been doing to reality, you know, and, but it's been testing your patience because from what I know from the Mercury and retrograde, it's been testing your patience. All right, so let's see what's going on for you guys. Justice is here. If you're dealing with the law, the law will fall on your behalf. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Libra. Some of you have been dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You had a level of happiness with this person, uh, but there was some kind of ending or transformation in your relationship because this came out first. So there was an ending in your relationship with this person. And then after the fact, this is duality. You both make each other happy. It does not have to be a water sign. This is somebody that you love and they love you. Um, but I feel, let me see what the other cards are that actually fell because that's the backstory. You have chariot here, a card of cancer, two of wands and the king of wands. Holy shit. Okay. So I'm just going to flat out say this. You're deciding between two people, two roads, two situation. One person you love, the other person is very passionate. One excites you to no, to no end. Here's the interesting thing. They love you. And you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could also have somebody from your past that's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't matter. You could flip them. You could have been dealing with a fire sign and now you're dealing with a water sign. You get it. doesn't matter. Right now, you're torn between love and passion with these two people because you have the two of wands. What do you do? Here's what's interesting. You both like each other, this fire sign person. But what does water and fire do when you combine it correctly? Water can cancel out fire, but if you balance the temperatures and you balance how much water goes with fire, you create steam, some sexy ass steam if you, if you ask me, because you both make each other happy. This is love. This person feels love for you and you feel love for them. You can't tell me otherwise, Capricorn, because this is the card of duality. If I saw the nine of cups, I'd say one is wish fulfillment, but this is both. So there's a fire sign here or a water sign I mostly feel fire for you guys that they excite you. You're very attracted to this person too. They're very attractive. And you're trying to decide between people, two roads, the past, the present, and the f your recent past and your present or your present and your future. So you're trying to decide. You're moving ahead though, focused. Regardless of what's going to happen, uh, your, your life, your family, your everything else is looking great. <clears throat> You're still focusing on you, which is great. But justice, this is your justice for the shit you've recently been through, Capricorn. This person, this person's coming back. I don't know. Um, I don't want to say reconciliation. I don't feel reconciliation. I feel like this is two people, two situations. Could be two career paths. It could be two jobs. But I really feel like this is somebody passionate versus somebody... Uh, I don't know, loving, I guess, I, I, I like a water sign and a fire sign is what I'm vibing. Some Something that you're used to versus something that is new. Um, let me see what you have in your, in your, um, but I see you. I, I see one is water, one is fire, and I just see steam. It's just weird. I don't know. Let me see what do I have for Capricorn. Going on and on with Capricorn. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Boom. You take that as it resonates. Whoever you're thinking about and whoever you're vibing and feeling, you need to make an approach, Capricorn. Now's the time. Let's see what your advice is for Capricorn. What advice do you have for Capricorn? Thank you. You are good enough. I don't know if some of you are insecure or someone's made you insecure. Tell them to go fuck themselves. You're great. If you feel like they don't like you, bullshit, they love you. That queen of cups tells me so. For me, th th this queen is mostly you. You love somebody that happens to be a fire sign because most of my audience, 80% of you are females. It doesn't have to be. If you're the male watching this, this is because of your, your, fe your, your uh, feminine. We all have feminine, masculine within ourselves. So I feel like this is somebody that you're dealing with between two people and you're trying to decide. Nothing is yet set in stone. So if some of you are trying to fix a marriage, it's not completely over. If some of you are trying to fix a relationship, it's not over. 
if some of you want a reconciliation, it's not over. You're definitely reminiscing because this two of wands, no matter what to me tells me Capricorn, you are deciding between two things. You have a fork in the road. You know if you go down one of those, your life journey changes. So let's see what your angels of abundance have to say for you, Capricorn. That's like a lot. It's too much. I just want one, please. Capricorn. Capricorn. Donations, tithing, and charitable work. Give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you. You can donate your time. You can donate your money. You can donate your energy. Some of you could actually be working for a foundation, a charity. That's excellent. But that is going to help change your energy, your dynamic. All right, let me move on to um, Aquarius. The, your retrograde has been in your house of travel. Mm. And I never met an Aquarius who didn't like to travel, <laughs> but it's been going haywire for you guys. I feel like you guys have been dealing with like some plans that might have backfired for you. Let's see. Uh, also, uh, during the Pluto retrograde, this this karmic planet has been forcing you to do some major reflection on on your life, on your situation, on your partnerships, on your family, all of the above. What do you have for Aquarius? Thank you. Yeah. You've been thinking about the time and energy you invested in a job or a, a person, a relationship that you had in the recent past. Look at this. But you're very defensive. The seven of the seven of um, there's two sevens here. Seven of wands. You're very defensive. You're going to defend your turf. You're going to stick up for it now. This time energy that you've built and invested in someone or something, you're going to stick up for it. You're going to say, okay, I'm not going to let it go because I worked at it really hard and there's something there. Some of you are dealing with, look at this, the bottom of the deck. No lie. Cards just do not lie. You guys, and I've been reading this for a little while now for Aquarius. You're dealing with a fire sign female, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. She doesn't have to be a female. She could be a male. You can flip the roles. A lot of you Aquarius people, yeah, you're having communication now. You're talking to each other, emails, phone calls, I don't know. The Empress, you view her as the mother of your child. You view her as the wifey material or husband material. You find this person of high status, high value, your worth, your level. There was a period of time you guys weren't talking. You were trying to juggle in and out between your relationship. You were in and out, in and out, in and out. It doesn't have to be you. It could be them. You know how it goes. You felt stuck. You might have felt at some point in time that you, this was trapping you. And that was the truth. So you took a time out. And that was the Pluto in retrograde for you guys. But now here you are um, thinking about something that you've invested time and energy in. Um, am I getting anything else? No, but if you've been recently traveling, it's been like a little something going off. All right, so let's see what's going on. What messages do you have for Aquarius here? It took forever on Capricorn, I know. I'm not a Capricorn. My mom is. Deception. Okay, Aquarius. There is no deception between you or the other person. One of you is deceiving yourselves. And that's what that Pluto was talking about. Your legacy, your future, your foundation, who you are. Maybe some of you guys have been deceiving yourselves in what that was. And you needed that fucking time out. You needed that break. You needed to travel. You needed to get away. You needed to run away. I don't know. If this isn't you, it's the other person deceiving themselves that this wasn't going to work out. Of course it was. It's always going to work out. You guys just needed a time apart. You needed a time out so you could come back stronger, bigger, and better together. And that's what I'm vibing because I feel a huge connection. I feel a massive cord, a big fat one, in fact. What do you have for uh, Aquarius, please? Your hard work is paying off completely. New moon in Capricorn is when exactly the planet went into retrograde Pluto back in April, at the end of April. Your hard work is paying off. Meaning all that shadow work you did on yourself, Aquarius, it's it's going to pay itself in tenfold with your relationships, with your life ship, with whatever it is that you're thinking or dealing with. Let me see what your angels of abundance have to say for you guys. You actually have three here. 
donations to thing and charitable work you might work for an organization you might work for a foundation um where it's saying to donate to one organize for success absolutely the more you organize and you guys are pretty good you make lists you like your little lists Aquarius keep them going they help you function uh, attraction not chasing I love this anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying chasing I think it's this I think you might have ran away from fears um, from being locked down or um, thinking that this person might leave you in the future it could be vice versa but there's a chase a runner chaser dynamic so you might have ran away from somebody and they chased you and now it's flipping or vice versa you get it but it doesn't matter because there's some kind of serious kinetic energy that you have connection when i told you that tether before with somebody so very interesting okay let's move on to pisces last but not least and my video will be done you guys pisces you've always been working on your legacies like the day you were born <laughs> um but pluto in retrograde has now gone direct but mercury in retrograde was in your house of secretive and emotional um feels so it's been very friggin intense for you guys very very intense let's see what's going on with pisces pisces things are about to change for you guys drastically especially with this new moon, full moon in uh aries october 20th it's gonna be the planet of go 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 no more emotions. It's it's just, you're going to start moving forward. I also feel like there's fire energy coming towards you. You're attracting that right now, Pisces, is what I'm getting. I feel like this is the calm before the storm for you, Pisces. And then come at the end of the month, going into November, it's going to be an onslaught of shit coming your way. Work, friends, career, lovers, all of the above. Look at this, the bottom of the deck, Knight of Wands. Just got done saying this. Passionate new messages. All of what I just said. And under that, chariot running quickly towards you. And under that, the card of success. And under that is strength. You needing, look, these cards could not be more direct. You are sitting here waiting, thinking, feeling. And it's been very intense for a little while now for you. So you've been waiting for something or someone. And you've been having the strength to deal with the emotions, the feelings, sorry, here's the strength card, the emotions, the feelings, and all of the above. And now it's, it's finally coming in and it's moving. It was a force. And I told you, it feels like a force because all these plans going direct, all six of them, it feels like a force. And it's like, it's like the wind behind your back, just pushing you. And all of a sudden these messages come flying towards you. And this is about success, successful relationships, successful career, successful job. And here it is. The card that actually flew out is the page of coins. Although it might seem small in the beginning, I'll be tiny to you. It's, it's big because this is all you can endure right now. This is all you can handle. So let me see Pisces. What's going on in your love world? What's going on for Pisces, please? Thank you. Let your friends help you. Absolutely. Because right now the retrograde period has got you into that secretive mode. You, you're not really putting yourself out there. You're really keeping everything under the vest, close to, uh, under under wraps. So it's saying, let your friends help you. Let me see what your advice is for you guys. Okay, what advice do we have for Pisces, please? Thank you. Nothing is yet set in stone. So whatever it is that you're thinking, it's not over. Whether it's your career or a relationship or a friendship or whatever it is it's not over let's see what your angels of abundance have to say pisces partnership absolutely it goes again with letting your friends help you but partnership allow helpful supportive partnerships into your personal life and career and both parties benefit as a result you need to work with somebody is really what it's trying to tell me here so guys, I hope this video was helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on your weekly vids. Bye.